everyone, and welcome to a special first edition of Financial Earning. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I want to talk a little bit about one of the PRs that came out today, December 28th. Uh, Mullen intends to deliver 285 Class 1 vehicles within the next five business days, and they plan to close the fiscal first quarter on the 31st with over 6,054,300 invoice for Class 1 vehicles. So we'll go ahead and break that down a little bit. If you uh, follow along on uh, one of the other highlights, you'll see that 50 of the all-electric Mola 1 Class 1 cargo vans were invoiced for $1,680,000. Uh, that comes out to $33,600 revenue per van. So using that uh, quick calculation, you can see that the 285 uh, Mola 1 cargo vans comes out to $9,576,000 uh, revenue. And uh, breaking that down by quarters, you'll see that fiscal year 24, Q1, uh, the planned revenue is 6,054,300 with a total of 180 vans delivered by uh, December 31st, 2023. And looking forward to fiscal year 24, Q2, the remainder of those uh, vans, which is 105, will be delivered. And according to this PR, within five business days, we're looking at January 5th, 24. And for that uh, 105 vans, the, the rev expected revenue should be $3,521,700. Uh, so it's definitely worth also mentioning down uh, near the bottom there, uh, the Mullen 1 is anticipated to be the first EV cargo van for sale in the U.S. market in the Class 1 commercial uh, vehicle segment. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the Class 3 trucks. Uh, so uh, Randy Marion Automotive Group. Uh, did receive to date 121 of these class three trucks uh, and they're valued at 7,623,000. Uh, so they are as well on track to finish the calendar year uh, with 150 vehicles delivered. So that comes out to $9,450,000 for the fiscal year 24 Q1. And so you should expect to see that revenue on the quarter one uh, earnings report, which comes out mid-February. Uh, and based off of the same PR, you can also see that Randy Marion has an open PO for a thousand of these class three trucks. Uh, so that means another 850 of these trucks will be delivered in calendar year 24 with a projected revenue of $53,550,000, again, for cal calendar year 24. It's also worth noting uh, that Randy Marion did receive uh, their North Carolina license to uh, retail Mullins commercial EVs on November 16th, 2023. So. A lot of really good things uh, going on right now um, in terms of deliveries for Mullen Automotive. Revenue. All right, just a quick recap on revenue uh, for the vans and trucks for fiscal year 24Q1, which is what we're in right now. Known revenue is 15,504,300. For calendar year 24, uh, which would of course uh, start in January and going forward, based off of the 850 trucks and the 101 vans that are listed in the two PRs, uh, there's a known revenue of $57,071,700. All right, bear with me, folks. I uh, just got two more slides to go. The last slide is an update I got from Randy Marin Auto, so uh, stay tuned for that one. And so this, uh, this PR states that Mullen and RRDS filed responses on November 24th, 23 with an expected confirmation ruling within 45 days. So the expected ruling date is no later than February 7th, 2024. Uh, and some of the key highlights I wanna talk about involves uh, Mullen confirming vehicle and components have been substantially transformed uh, by the addition of complex US homologation, assembly and labor. Uh, so with this announced partnership, uh, RRDS selected Mullen as the exclusive provider for the class one EV cargo vans. Uh, and in the application itself, uh, Mullen discusses uh, that they have completed the Class 1 EV cargo van uh, to meet the U.S. Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, as well as EPA regulations, uh, including design, testing, and validation of new safety systems, including airbags, sensors, control modules, rear view camera, front bumper system, wiring harness, and seating. Uh, so with all of that uh, being upgraded and um, complete, uh, Mullen One will be defined as a U.S. made end product. So that is pretty exciting news that should open the door for them uh, when it comes to some other potential government loans or maybe even some potential grants. Uh, we'll just have to find out about that. As of now, you know, that's just speculation, but uh, they are moving in the right direction. Uh, the Tunica facility 
um, has a total of 103 employees. Um, and Mullen nationwide uh, currently employs about 400 individuals. Uh, so with all of those upgrades uh, that uh, Mullen's done on the EV uh, cargo van uh, for that class one, one thing I did want to talk about is some of the additional sourcing initiatives uh, that they've uh, undergone. So uh, they have um, gotten supply contracts with multiple tier one, tier two OEM suppliers uh, in countries such as South Korea, Germany, Romania, China, Canada, and the US. Uh, which is definitely helping grow Mullen's supply chain and helping them evolve, uh, including some of those domestic suppliers and subcontractors. Um, so with that, they're able to localize uh, some of this content. And then as more of the EV components are added to the U.S. ecosystem, uh, one other note uh, at the bottom there, you can see David Mishri mentions is that uh, this class one van uh, will be an American product built in America by Americans. And just one other note that the EV1 cargo van will be participating uh, alongside RRDS at an upcoming FedEx or Federal Fleet Conference in DC. Uh, and that's going to be the week of uh, January uh, 22, 2024. Just sticking around to the end of this video. Um, I have been in contact uh, with a gentleman named Kevin Wise. Um, as you can see here, he's uh, one of the employees there at Randy Marin Auto in North Carolina. Uh, so I said, afternoon, Kevin, I saw that Mullen has delivered the class one vans. Do you know if Randy has renewed the dealer's license uh, to continue selling their vehicles in 2024? Uh, then I went ahead, uh, messaged again, say, how many of those trucks have you guys already sold? Hoping they're selling like hotcakes. Uh, may you be financially blessed with sales in 2024. So Kevin came back. He said, numerous sales. Yes, we have licenses. Uh, they will not be delivered to us. They'll be delivered straight to customers. They do, however, have some of their uh, class three uh, low cab forward with 108 inches CA on our lot. And I'm an engineer. I'm not a uh, auto guy. So I didn't know exactly what all that meant, but I did say excellent news. Love seeing a startup company flourish. And uh, before all you haters say Mullen's not a startup, I'm talking about the fact that they just got vehicles to market. So, um, and again, I asked, I said, for, hey, for my ignorance and anyone else who doesn't know, uh, what is 108 inches? Um, is that the cab height? Uh, no, uh, it is the cab to axis measurement, uh, which means a 14 foot body. So I said, okay, thanks, no problem. And then I said, can I share the news um, that your team are actively selling these trucks and vans? And he says, yes. So uh, again, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of, out of uh, this video. If you did, please uh, consider liking, subscribing, and um, go ahead and leave a couple comments. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see moving forward. And uh, let's finish the rest of this year off strong. Thanks.